Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Club Penguin Experience. As you can see, the newest pin, which is called the Splash Pin, is located at the Ski Hill, and it's really cool. Anyways, at this episode, I will be exploring the water party both at the night and the morning. I'm not really sure when the party will end since they didn't even mention at the login screen that the water party has arrived so be sure to explore this party like right now before it's gone forever. Anyways at the beach, there is a free item you can get and it's the shell necklace which is pretty cool. Also the ski lodge isn't decorated but I actually just saw a few penguins online there which was really cool and they're even playing find 4 which officially confirms that's implemented at this game. You'll actually be surprised at how many people are online right now during this time later on at the video. Trust me I'm surprised as well. Anyways the beacon is decorated but the telescope and jetpack adventure aren't actually implemented at this game but that's alright. Haven't told you my opinion about the decorations of the places I visited yet which is odd since I normally tell you that at almost every video but you guys probably already know I love the decorations especially when it's night time. And yes that is correct. There are actually 18 people online right now during this time which is crazy considering this game is normally empty. The town was actually crowded and there were actually 21 people online before I started recording which is also very shocking. That obviously means this game is getting more popular which is great. Honestly it would be very cool if this game gets as many players as Club Penguin Journey and New Club Penguin by the end of this year. Not sure if that's possible but that would still be very cool nonetheless. And yes, I'm aware that the ski village and the town has a few black boxes which are obviously bugs so if the developers of the game are watching this, you guys know what to do. And yeah, the penguin style catalog hasn't been updated since made but that's alright. Penguin Zone hasn't updated their penguin style catalog since April but at least the backrooms makes up for that. Also if you noticed anything different about my penguin, it's that I'm not walking any puffle with me right now. That's because I forgot to walk my puffle after taking care of them before the party even started. Don't worry, I'll be walking one of my puffless again at the next episode. Anyways, there is a free item you can get at the plaza, and it's the ice cream apron, which is also really cool. And of course, at the west of the iceberg, they added the whale room, which is a party room I always loved, and of course, most people online at this game are at the whale, which is really cool to see that many people online. And nice I got a buddy request from Jelly who is actually the first friend I have at this game. Jelly if you are watching this, you are really awesome for being my first friend ever at this game. Also feel free to send me a buddy request if you guys see me at this game by the way as I'll be accepting all of them. Anyways here is the last indoor decorated room before I show you guys the decorated rooms outside during the morning. Anyways, now it's time to show you the decorated rooms outside when it's the morning. Alright, I'm back and this time I'm recording this when it's the morning so I'll be showing you the decorated rooms outside when it's the morning. Unfortunately, the water hose doesn't work but that's alright. It's nice seeing these decorated rooms when it's the morning even though I like it when it's nighttime better. Haven't really talked about much about the decorations at this episode which is very odd since I normally do that but might as well do that now since I'm kinda running out of ideas on what to say before ending off the episode. Also there isn't really that much people online at this time compared to when it was night time. In fact there is only 4 penguins online right now including me when I recorded during the morning at this game. Also, it's really odd that the ice rink uses normal music despite it being flooded with water, which is really cool, by the way. Anyways, I really love that there is a slide between the ski hill and the ski village. I also love that there is a sandcastle at the docks. I also love that the dance club is called the Splash Club, and yeah, this is getting repetitive to say. You just needed a few filler sentences to say some things before I end off the episode, but I will say the large bucket throwing water at the mine shack is very cool. Anyways, that is it for this episode. Honestly, I really love this party, and it's honestly one of my favorite parties at this game along with the music jam. 
I love checking out all of the decorated rooms at this party both at day and night time. I love the music that plays during this party. I love the free items you can get at this party. I love the new pin. I love that they added the whale room beside the iceberg. And of course I love that more people are joining this game and that this game is getting more popular each day. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please like, comment, and subscribe for more The Club Penguin Experience videos. With that being said, see you guys next time.